is hand sanitizer, but that's just a brand name. That's not the real name. This is freaking Purell. Like this is not hand sanitizer, right? But it's anonymous for this. So it don't matter who came first. Did Purell come first or hand sanitizer come first? You don't know, but you don't care because guess what? This is a hand sanitizer, Yeah. right? If I go get a tissue, the box of tissue, what is that called? Kleenex. They Kleenex. call you Kleenex. <laughs> oh, give me a Kleenex, but that's a brand name. Yeah, you're right. That's not... You're right. It is a tissue. It's a box of tissue. But they call it a Kleenex because that's the brand synonymous for that tissue. But who I came first? That. It was who branded themselves first. So you're going to have knockoffs. If you're doing something right, you're going to have knockoffs. If you ain't got no knockoffs, you ain't doing nothing right. There's so many people around here scamming people, talking about, oh, I'm spectacular. Uh, uh, this is my backup page. <laughs> I made it. I made it. Yeah. People feel like they got to beat me to make money now. So that's yeah. when you know you made it. Nobody's knocking you off. Nobody's bootlegging you. You you got to do enough. You ain't uh, doing enough. So expect that. And and that has to be a part of your plan, understanding that's going to happen. But you can't let that distract you from your commission. All right? Like, you got to figure out what is your niche inside of the niche. Maybe it might just be the onesie, like you said. But what makes your onesie different? Does it, does it like button up on a corner where you can easily take it off right you can easily take off the whole thing and you can take it front and side or or the, or the shoulders like so if you want to get to the shoulders you clip clip get off to the shoulder you want to take off the side clip clip you take off the side you want to go to the butt clip clip take off the pamper like i don't know i don't know but you have to figure that out so then it makes it easy for you to market because you know exactly where your audience is and what they want my question is how do you respond when a client tries to pay you less than what your product is worth? So I think it's about haggling. For example, I sell hoodies for $50, but they only want to pay $30 for it. Great question. I know a lot of people go through this. If you truly believe in your worth, you won't discount your price. The only time you're discounting your price is not because somebody asks you to discount it. It's because you want to discount it. And depending on what you're doing in the game and what you're doing is apparel you don't have to discount anything unless you're doing the special but if you That's truly right. believe in what you have you don't have to ever come come off that price say hey listen this is my price and if you don't like it there's other people out there you can deal with a lot of people think that you gotta have all of this money to like make millions and the reality is you really don't right you just really need the guidance roadmap and you need the right accountability and you can take over the world but everybody think they need all this money. You really don't, right? And the reason why I'm saying that is because you can literally come in, take a take a product and and re and resell the product and put it in front of the people to see if they like it and test it out before you even spend a dollar. Let me ask you a question. What what is the product right now that you sell? Uh so on December 4th, I started to like randomly start making like customized onesies for or on newborns. Okay, so customized onesies. Who is your demographic? Who buys the onesies? Honestly, my target audience would, would have been like uh, uh, moms that's expecting. And what makes your product different? Why would somebody buy your onesie over Gerber freaking onesie? Honestly, I'm not too sure. <laughs> well, that's the first question you gotta ask yourself. What makes you different? You gotta figure out what is your blue ocean strategy? Like, what are you offering different to the marketplace that's not somewhere else where they can't get it? And the great thing about it is we can niche down in a niche. So the, the riches are in the niches. You heard Des say that, right? So when you right. have a niche, you niche down within the niche to now carve out your own lane.